Hey, how's it going? Just bringing another casual little review here. So this one is one of the things I ordered from JSE Plus. And this is going to be the TAC Fire AR-15 Ambi Selector Gen 2 and steel black. So just as a reference, I took off the original mil spec safety that was on my Resolute lower here. And this is a look of the, excuse me, the TAC Fire. You can see it on both ends here, and it is a little shorter and on one side, and you could actually, and I do like this as a feature, you could pick which side that you want to place the shorter throw on. So let me just keep this in frame so that you kind of get a reference here. But um, still utilizing the same um, parts as far as the spring and the pin that are um, keeping the selector together. I forget the technical terms, or I don't know the technical terms, so forgive me on that. But the golden pin and the long silver um, spring. So, and just for as a function check here, very clicky, very positive. And on this side, so I am a natural left-hander as far as writing, but um, still have to get used to it as far as me doing it from one side here. And feels stiff, but firm. Like as long as I get the right leverage on it, I could do it. So. It's going to take some practice, but I wanted the ability to do so just in case if um, I ever missed it with my thumb or some other dumb reason. Um, there's a backup right over here that at least is reduced. And I think overall it complements the look of the rifle better. And my one of my small rants on um, safety selectors is that um, normally the flush side would have just a indicator for the safe and fire, um, excuse me, yeah, safe and semi um, functions here or fire, whichever one you want to use. But that being said, I've always felt like, hey, if it says the controls on this side over here, instead of a small indent, I kind of take that as an indication that maybe there should be a selector there as well. But also one thing to note um, that the TAC Fire did include the um, Allen wrench to seat in the screw here to hold the selector together on both ends. That being said, it was a pretty fine um, fit that I had to really twist it in to get it positively in there. So just FYI, if you're, not, if you're not into that kind of machining and you just kind of all have it, want to have it all in one piece, um, be aware of that. That may be um, something that's due to the price point of this. So just wanted to uh, make mention of that. That may be a positive or negative for some folks as far as being positive and simple to put together, but it may be a negative that is not all one unit across the board and it takes a couple of screws. So up to you. Um, for me, it's working out well so far. I enjoy, enjoy just throwing it straight up and liking the idea of just having the uh, safety on both sides. I mean, let's, let's keep it simple there. So just wanted to show that. And thank you for your time, and I'll see you later.